Okay, it's Friday, um, April... 13th. No, it's 12th. not. April 12th. In less than one month, I'm going to be 60. And we're off to Niagara Falls, but we got, got to stop in Windsor. Uh, Bob's going to pick out his baseball team. He's all kind of excited about that. I'm, I'm happy for him, too. Oh, I look like I've stepped into the from the 1970s with my bouffant hair. That's because we're going to the falls, and I don't... Like I'm going to go the weekend without washing my hair, so I wash it just before I go. Anyways, so what's the update? Um, oh, what did we... Um, oh, uh, Scott and Amanda are having Gus uh, for the weekend. He's a Havernese dog. He's seven months old, looks just like kind of like Bruno, the same kind of coloring. Um, his full name is going to be Gus Carmelo Mundy. And they're going to see if Jane gets a reaction. So uh, this is very, very interesting. I really hope that she doesn't because that family would love to have a dog. They've got dogs surrounding them. Um, Ed and Kathy have three dogs. Uh, Melissa has a dog. I don't know. Oh, they're, ne they're across the street. Neighbors have a dog. Their Aunt Sandy and Uncle Dwayne have a dog. And their Nana and Grandpa Bob are going to have a dog too. That's why we're going to Niagara Falls this weekend. Because after this weekend, we are seriously going to look for a dog. Now, I checked last night Kijiji. And they've got Shih Tzu's reasonably priced and Shih Tzu is a non-allergenic dog and I really want to if I want them to watch my if I ever want Scott and Amanda and girls to watch our dog it has to be a hypoallergenic dog but I'm, I'm not crazy about Shih Tzus but they're reasonable and you can get like a purebred for 400 or 300 which is, that's a pretty good price because everything, this Havernese, I think is $1,800. I think that's how much they're paying for this dog. It's a very expensive dog. It's a pres pre um, Obama's um, uh, dog. Um, like it's uh, like a Portuguese water dog or something like that. But it's at the top of the list for being non, or for being hyper- It's not really a pup either. No, it's not a puppy. A I'm guessing uh, it's no, but it's not trained because Andrea last night told me that um, it's trained to go in the house. Uh, it's going to be 12 pounds. She sent me a picture of it, and it was really misleading. This picture because it looked like it was a huge dog, like bigger than Bruno. But it was just the ink. Oh my goodness! Oh, like Bob's trying to on. kill me. No, oh. I have my segments on, but he just. Ah. And thus, this is why when we're when we're on the QE, because I'm I don't like the QE. I he's like close my eyes. What? He's going 90 kilometers. Yes, he's going very fast, but it still doesn't mean we want to sideswipe. I him. signaled the lane change, and he just ignored me. The proof is in the pudding. I'm not. There's not road rage. I'm just telling you the facts. The facts and only the facts. <laughs> Oh, it's not his fault. It's my fault. No, it's not your fault. I'm just saying, be very careful. I just <laughs> like we don't want to. As if I, I'm not. As if, if you're I wasn't careful, I would have been hit. Yeah, it's true. It's There's totally... a proof in the pudding. The, you Next know. Next time I'll let them hit me. No, no, he's right. He was very careful. He avoided a smash up on my side. Anyways, okay. So it's really mucky weather. I got sandals, but I packed. Oh, um, gonna say hello to him. Oh, oh, he's did gonna he, say hello to the car that almost sideswiped us. The red light. <laughs> yeah. Did he get any further? These people who zoom, zoom, zoom all around you. Anyways, okay. Well, we'll try to calm down here. Um, it's supposed to be a wet. Oh, you should see the kitchen. I'm going to put it. <laughs> I'm, t I'm talking to myself. This is called vlogging, Bob. I like I. I'm going to set up a private YouTube channel, and I'm going to upload. Like, I'm going to upload these, and I'm going to let my kids see them. It's like a journal, a journal that like is not private. I, I'm not going to let 
well, who's if I put it on my regular YouTube channel, um, anyone has access to it? No, no, I'm not going to. I'm going to open up a private YouTube channel and put up all these little doodads that I've been talking. To. I love talking into the BlackBerry. It, what, it, what's so neat is, like, I uh, we watched what I what I recorded like before we went to Mexico while we we're in Mexico. It's like really cool. It's like as if I'm in, uh, like I try to say profound things, but it never ever comes out because I'm not a profound style person. Anyways, so it's like a personal journal, only electronic. This is like the new way of doing it. Um, don't know what else to say other than wait till you see the kitchen it is wait till I record the kitchen that's what I'm doing it for I'm doing it for my daily I'm chewing on mints and I don't want to break a tooth um, it's a whole new kitchen a whole new kitchen it is I'm so excited I tore down a cupboard <laughs> hey tearing down an, a 40 year old cupboard excites me doesn't excite Bob but I 39 39 year old who, what's the technicality I think he's just like Doug Doug I'll, like Doug will have we'll have a discussion and then he gets he pinpoints on something and I go Dougie are we gonna argue over a technicality One year makes a big difference <laughs> well, in a, a one month, I'm just going to be one decade under Bob. Now I'm two decades under Bob. <laughs> like, he's two decades older. Anyways, that's enough. Oh, seven minutes. I'm trying to record this without my glasses because I think I look a lot better, like, personally, to, to look at my... Oh, oh, I have to show you my... My, um... Look, I have a chip in my nail, and I, and the rest of my nails of my, um, of this, uh, what is this called, um, shellac that I had done two and a half weeks ago. I'm, I'm almost embarrassed to say how I chipped my, uh, not embarrassed, but I'm going to tell Bob a secret because I always yell at him about he always washes knives and then he throws them in the sink and we have those Wiltshire knives and which are quite sharp and I'm always reaching my hands in the sink and like I always say and I even said to him the last time the sink was full of these knives that stick up I lay them down anyways he's I said to him listen if you if you can't remember to um, uh, not lay down a knife or be real careful with these knives because I'm gonna he washes them and I'm gonna go put them away and really cut myself bad I said don't wash knives at all that's how sarcastic I was well guess how I chip my nail it was on the uh, blender blade and I thought oh that was me I'm like so paranoid over that stupid blender blade and I put it in the sink when I should have put it up on the counter. Anyway, so that's my confession to Bob. It was my, I was careless. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.